My name is Clifford Jackson, and I'm the department head of Rod and Custom Restoration here at Ohio Technical College. Students will get to learn metal fabrication, mobile electronics, welding, upholstery, and custom paint, just to name a few. Now let's go meet our instructors. Welcome to OTC. I'm Del Hess. I'm one of the instructors in Rod and Custom and Restoration. We're going to talk to you a little bit about upholstery. We go over the machines, all the basics of sewing, all the different stitches. We get into doing foam, piping, we get into pleats, rolling pleat, diamond tuck. We get into seriously about pattern making. If you don't do patterns properly, they will not work for you. Go over convertible tops, vinyl tops, door panels, everything inside of an interior. Vintage and new. Anything you need to know, we go through it. How are you doing? I'm Mr. Wells and I teach a program called Custom Paint at Ohio Technical College. And in 12 weeks, we cover six weeks of pinstriping. Uh, inside that six weeks, we cover vinyl wrap, a little bit of exotic painting. We also cover go leafing in that particular six weeks of pinstriping. Then we carry it over to six weeks of airbrushing where we work with stencils. Uh, we also work with texture patterns. And then we work with shadow and shading. And then we also touch bases with color theory. Hi, I'm Tom Martin. I'm the welding instructor for Rod and Customs Restoration and Collision. I've been here 14 years. Uh, we teach four different types of welding. Uh, stick, MIG, torch, resistant spot welding also. Hi, my name is Nick Siebold. I'm an instructor here at Ohio Technical College in the Rod and Custom Restoration Program. I'm going to walk you through a few of the machines we use for the metalworking class the six weeks long here at OTC. What we start with first, we start with our mallet and our sand or shot bag. Sand or shot bag is used to form the metal from a flat piece and give you a rough shape that you can actually form to a fender, a roof section, a lower fender, and then smooth out using one of the other machines. Next, we have one of a, a few slip rolls we have that give a curved panel mimicking something like this and making it new in something like this. Next up, we have our finger brake, or also called a box and pan brake. It's here to bend metal in multiple degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degree bends. You can make a tray out of this. You can make, bend up four corners, but this will make flanges, hems for doors, all sorts of brackets you want on this. We have another straight brake over here. This is just meant for longer surfaces. This is a six foot brake overall. We also have our stop shear. This is here to create the metal exactly the size you need in a precision manner. It gives you a nice straight cut all the way across. This takes up to 18 gauge metal. Once you have all that stuff, you can take your parts that you've created over to the English wheel and you beat out in the sandbag to get rid of the dents and dings. You have a few little problems here and here. What you can do, you can take this through and start working it so the metal slowly works itself out and smooths out all the issues that you created during the forming process, thereby giving you a cleaner, better overall product that has less finish work required. That's some of the stuff we do here at Ohio Technical College in the metal fabrication class for restoration rod and crossbow.